Morgan, and today I thought it might be fun to go ahead and take the YouTube Creator Demographic Survey. And part of this is that I'm having issues with my video editing software, and so I was like, you know what, this is something that I can do on Streamlabs and just upload directly to YouTube so I don't have to do like any editing. Um, and I saw this, uh, I guess I would describe it as like a banner at the top of my dashboard saying, help us review whether our systems reflect unintentional bias. Answer questions about yourself so we can understand how various communities experience YouTube. Your responses will be confidential and secure. And I was like, you know what? I can make content out of this. Um, go to creator demographics. And I also thought this might be cool. So if someone was wondering what this was but didn't actually want to take it themselves, they could have an idea of what it actually was. Um, help make YouTube more inclusive. Help us better understand the demographic and identity information of creator and artist communities on YouTube. Creator demographics. Providing this information is optional. You may delete your answers anytime. The information you provide will not be used to impact your content, contents or channels performance in YouTube systems. Learn more. You can update your response once every 45 days and then I'm going to click um, take survey and at the top there is a uh, I guess I would describe it as like a graphic uh, sorry an image that is drawn in like a how do I describe it like a graphics program it's one that's clearly like created in a digital format of uh, six, yeah, six people kind of abstract like uh, sitting around a table and it's like they're all visually quite different. I think they're supposed to represent different backgrounds. One thing that is a little bit um, less than ideal to me is the fact that so often disability in media is represented through a wheelchair. And it's like, yeah, there are a lot of disabled people who use wheelchairs, but there are also a lot of us who have disabilities and or like neurodiversity who it's like our disabilities aren't always visible. And so it is a little bit like sometimes frustrating to me that uh, disability representation is so often just people with vi like visibly distinct disabilities. Um, we need your help to make YouTube more inclusive. Take this seven question survey. It will only take five minutes. You're invited to take a survey that will help us better understand the demographic and identity information of creator and artist communities on YouTube. If you agree to take this survey, we'll use the information you provide to help us evaluate how our algorithms and systems treat content from various communities, how various communities are growing on YouTube, potential patterns of abuse, including harassment and hate, our current programs, campaigns, and offerings. Tell us if you're interested in special programs. At the end of the survey, we ask whether we can use your answers when deciding whom to invite to special programs and celebrations. Special programs and celebrations may include having your channel or content highlighted and participating in programs, events, or campaigns, such as user research, fundraising opportunities, or workshops. Um, how will you use your info? We are we are optionally asking you to submit your demographic information. YouTube is a Google company. If you choose to provide your information, Google LLC will keep your information in accordance with the Google privacy policy. And then it links to it if I wanted to click that. We'll use the information you share to help make YouTube a more accurate, consistent, safe, and inclusive platform. Your survey response information will not be made public without your additional consent, and it won't be used for advertising purposes. Nice, nice, not used for advertising. Um, you can delete your information anytime. You consent to YouTube using the information that you provide in the survey for the purposes described above. Learn more. Um, I'm just going to click agree and go on and start this. Uh, main channel lead. We'd like a response to this survey from the main creator slash artist talent who leads your channel. We'll call this individual the channel's main lead. Um, considering that pretty much all of my channel is like stuff that I'm doing myself, um, that would be me. <laughs> This means the main creator who leads content strategy and creation for your channel, the creator who's explicitly associated with the channel's name or brand, the main on-screen talent of your channel, including through video or voice out over. How many main leads as defined above does your channel have? Um, just to me. <laughs> um, it's one main lead, so continue. Um, which of the following do you, the main lead, identify as? Select to all that apply. I love how it uses the word identify as because, like, some people, especially when referring to, like, race or, like, ethnic background and stuff, because someone might, like, identify as multiple or be from multiple different heritages. Um, 
uh, options that I can click would be Asian, Black or African American, Hispanic, Latino, Latino or Latinx, uh, Middle Eastern or North African, Native American or Alaska Native, Pacific Islander. Um, I'm probably going to click white because that's, I think, what society would generally categorize me as. Uh, prefer to self-describe, in which case you can click that and it says please specify or prefer not to answer. So if you don't want to give YouTube that answer because you're like, eh, I, I, I don't want them discriminating based on race, then you can click prefer not to answer. Um, uh, do you, the main lead, identify as a member of the LGBTQ+. How come they didn't use LGBTQIA+, so that's kind of like... Uh, it feels like they're not including intersex and asexual people, uh, including but not limited to lesbian, gay, bisexual, transgender, queer, pansexual, and or asexual. Okay, so they're including them. Uh, yes, yes, I identify as bi. So um, which of the following do you, the main lead, identify as? Select all that apply. Nice, they put women first. Oh, that's so... <laughs> I don't know why that makes me so happy. I guess it's because, like, growing up, um, so, like, occasionally there were instances where in, like, school text and stuff, it would say, like, it would use, like, man or male as, like, the default, and so it's nice when I see it, like, not just that, but seeing other gender identities, um, being represented, um, so yeah, woman, otherwise you can choose man, nine binary, prefer to self-describe, please specify. I love how they have that option. So if someone um, is like has a gender identity that isn't like super well known um, or that there isn't a lot of awareness about it, they can raise awareness that way. Um, not sure, I don't know, or prefer not to answer. Uh, no, I'm, I'm cisgender, I think. Uh, do you, the main lead, identify as transgender? You can say yes, no, not sure, I don't know, or prefer not to answer and I know I'm like a cisgender woman. Um, which of the following best describes this channel? Select all that apply. The channel is led by one or many individual creators. Yes. Um, or I could say the channel is led by an organization, which it is not. This channel represents a musical artist or band. No, I don't really do music stuff. I'm not very skilled at like music. Uh, this channel is part of the portfolio of a traditional media company, broadcaster, publisher, music label, or brand. Uh, no, other please specify. No, I would say uh, that I am, my channel is led by one uh, individual creator. So do you want to be invited to special programs and celebrations based on your answers? <laughs> you know what? I'll say yes, opt me in. I can always like say no at a later date. Um, if you select yes, we may contact you with opportunities to have your channel or content featured and or to participate in programs, events, research, and campaigns. Specialized programs and celebrations may include roundtable sessions, workshops, and or fundraising opportunities. But one thing that I think is weird to me is why would you be getting like... I can't help but think, like, is part of the reason for this, are they going to use this information to invite people specifically based on immutable characteristics like their gender identity, ethnic background, um, or, or like sexual orientation and stuff? Because to me, that's a little bit something that feels discriminatory. But it's YouTube. It's their decision, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> um, and then it says, thank you for purchasing. Thank you. Sorry, thanks so much for participating with all these happy people around the table again. And then I will click submit. So yeah, I have I have um, submitted the survey. And apparently I can take the survey again after September 8th of 2023. You can update your responses once every 45 days. Um, though honestly, I think there are a lot of other things that they could ask about too. Like, um, how do I put this? I feel like they didn't really touch upon like disability, etc., to make sure that they're like not being, um, what did they call it? Like invisible bias or something, or wasn't that the reason that they had this, um, survey? Let me check here. Uh, okay. It was help us review whether our systems reflect unintentional bias. So I'm like, I think there are a lot of other ways that they could be unintentionally biased that they didn't survey at all, but yeah, <laughs> I don't know. I thought this was just something fun to do and can help you maybe understand like, okay, what is the survey actually asking? And then you can have like, maybe that can be um, the starting place for some questions or some conversations and stuff asking like, hey, why is YouTube actually asking for this information? What could they possibly use with this? Um, yeah, and I hope that you are having a great day. Bye.